On a next door page dedicated to the city of Bridgeton in North St. Louis County, this post popped up saying copperheads love to eat cicadas. It says they will be all under the trees and up in the trees to eat as many as they can. Keep your children and pets away from trees and shrubs. Let's verify. Is it true cicadas will lead to an increase in copperhead snakes? And should you take extra precautions when outside? Our sources, Justin Eldon, curator for herpetology at the St. Louis Zoo, and Jeff Brigler, the Missouri Department of Conservation state herpetologist. Our experts say yes, copperheads do eat cicadas, but they don't hunt for them. Whenever these cicada blooms do occur, they just so happen to opportunistically come across these cicadas and feed upon them. But will this abundant protein source mean more copperheads than usual? Your copperheads aren't going to multiply magically because of the cicada bloom. What about people saying, bring your children and your dogs inside because the copperheads are active? I don't think we need to be uh, any more cautious than we would typically be just because of the cicada blooms when it comes to etiquette around venomous snakes. The zoo's herpetologist also said St. Louis City and most surrounding suburbs don't have copperheads. If you head to more rural areas, copperheads like forest habitats, typically with rock outcrops. Copperheads, just like any snake, they're more scared of you than, than, than you are of them. They want nothing to do with people. We can verify false. This cicada brood will not lead to an increase in copperhead snakes, and you do not need to take extra precautions when you are outside. I'm Ann Allred, five on your side.